Good morning, everybody. So, um, I did something. Well, let me just tell you a story. So, the past couple of days, um, I've had like a gluten-free chocolate, I think it's gluten-free and uh, vegan-free chocolate cookies. I accidentally bought them because we had, we had company and um, they looked good. So, anyway, um, so I, I keep putting them in a bag, a um, little plastic Ziploc bag for my lunch and I'm noticing that there's a hole in the bag. So <laughs> I got like a little, um, not upset, I mean, it's just a cookie and not really that great, but anyway, so I put it, um, the cookie, Oh, it's such a long story. All right. So I was trying to see, well, of course, we have some a mouse or something. So I was looking on the floor to see if I could see any droppings or anything like that. And I found the little thing of my shorts, you know, like, let's see, the little ends. You know, you pull on here. So I found that on the floor. And I got this, like, an idea that if I use that little end and I, um, you know, would he like hold up the container, put the cookie into the container, the mouse would run in there and get trapped. And so that the container wouldn't come open, I put a roll of duct tape, just rested it on top of the container. So it was like a balancing act. Well, <laughs> I never thought it would work and now I don't know what to do. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, so I, I'm gonna have to turn the phone over. I don't know how to switch it, but so. Let me just show you. I feel so bad. Let's see. I don't think I can. I'm going to have to edit it, this tape because I can't. Oh, there we go. Can you see him in there? He is the cutest little thing. I don't know if I can get a... This is so hard to do. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's in there. He's got plenty of food. Um, it looks the air. He's like suffocating. So I got to get him out of there. But I, I feel so bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I have to try to get him out. Um, yeah. Anyway, any ideas? I think I'm just going to slide something underneath there and bring him outside. But I don't want him coming back in and eating my cookies. Well, th those ones he can eat, but I don't want to eat anything else. <laughs> All right, let me know what to do. <laughs> this is so stupid. I didn't think this through. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, so this is going to be part two of the video, so I let him go. Um, I slid something underneath the container, and I brought him um, the cookie and all the poop <laughs> that he left behind. He was... Maybe vegan food doesn't agree with them. I don't know. And I brought them way out in the yard. Um, but I'm going to save my little contraption just um, in case he comes back and visits and brings his family for dinner. <laughs> but I'm going to show you what I did. What I did. It's like a real balancing act, and it can only be done with this one container, so I'm going to have to save this. Um, and then somehow. Got this on top. Yeah, see, it's like a real balancing act. I don't know if I can even do it again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I managed to do it. So that little teeny thing. Oh my, I can't believe this worked. But obviously, you can see that you need to dispose of the little critter. So I put him like way, way out there and um, like over in this, that area over there. And so with this cookie, but he ran off and I saw a squirrel eating the cookie. I didn't realize we had so many gluten-free animals in the neighborhood. All right, that's it. That's my um, morning. I need coffee. <laughs> Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Peace out.